Guys, I am stressing out. Not only the source book upload, but nukes as well. And last Friday's video of source book, when I was editing the video and talked about how I bet you by the time this video uploads, source book is gonna upload. Source book, hi, Jules I have a feeling that once I upload this one, source book or one of the other two channels I look at will upload. After I schedule the video to be uploaded on YouTube, I go out my subscription box and I think it's like 28 seconds ago. I'm a wizard. I'm truly a wizard. And before the video even starts to, I do want to apologize. If the mic sounds messed up out of nowhere, if it breaks up, whatever, everything in my life updated. Everything. As in OBS, which is the recording program I use to do these videos. Uh, the Go XLR, which is the device I use to talk with you guys through this mic. I had a system update, which reset a few things, which is why for some reason my mic has been finally lowered. I actually had to boost it up myself through the actual system. So whatever system update happened the other day, it just completely like lowered every aspect and element of my mic and everything else. All these things updated. So if my mic breaks here and there if it does this i apologize i'm i spent a whole hour trying to fix this before i even started recording i did a few fake recordings to see how it sounds and to me i think it sounds fine if it messes up i'm sorry i'm already paranoid of my mic and the quality you guys might be hearing today do you know what else is gonna make me paranoid these seven scary videos because apparently by story spooks the title of this video is seven scary videos that make you paranoid so now I got to worry about my mic quality and these seven ghost stories. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's louder. Well, that's louder. Hello, everyone. My name is Sir Spooks. And Hello. Today we'll take a look at seven scary videos. Okay. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. All right. With that said, do that. I'll begin. stab you guys with a sword. This first video that we'll be taking a look at comes to us from Reddit user known as Elizabeth Green Girl 88. Green Girl who posted the strange and eerie footage over to the ghost subreddit. Did you got a green? The was filmed on a security camera positioned in the backyard of this person's home. In the video, we watch as the uploader's husband is simply taking out the trash, something that we all do on a regular basis. It was six so far, seconds. So How good, is it right? more than six seconds now? Well, things get creepy when you realize that this poor guy was being kept company by something that is seemingly not from our world. Take An a look. alien? Oh, I see the background. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to make you guys focus on me because I'll just enter attention, not this ghost. What the hell is that? Is that a thumb thumb from Spy Kids? What in the hell is that? That's a mist. If you look behind the man taking out the trash, you should be able to make out what appears to be some kind of bizarre ghostly apparition, wandering around the man for a couple of seconds before eventually disappearing into thin air. He missed it. A lot of people in the comments are equally baffled by the footage, and according to the uploader, after showing the footage to her husband later on, he was completely freaked out, and understandably so. So what do you guys think was captured on camera that day? Do you think that this man's quality is like 3p, not 720p, not 460p, 240p. This man's camera quality is 2p. Like you can't even make out an eye. You can't make out a mouth. And look at the hand. This is like a fucking PS1 game. Like who's built like this in real life? Like, yes, you can tell he's probably like a brown haired dude. He looks like the Canadians from South Park. That is how he literally looks like. Look at, look at his stance. He looks like the Canadian guards from South Park. Look at the, so this could be just a mist. He lives in this desertous area, not desertous, forest, for, fort, tree, fort, fortress. Isn't like, those are both Pokemon, I think. He lives in this area where there's trees for a foliages and all this kind of sorts. 
I've been camping. I've been in woodsy area. Depending, you know, he has long sleeves, meaning it could be slightly chilly. Humidity, if he's probably up the mountain, humidity could be a thing as well. Humidity can happen during the cold too. But humidity doesn't really re reflect 100% of temperature. You can have high humidity in cold weather. But point is, humidity, all the kind of elements can cause smoke, smog, fog, haze, whatever you want to call it. That could just be fucking fog. But because of his 2P camera, you see, I don't know, an apparition. So what do you guys think was captured on camera that day? Do you think that there was some kind of creepy ghost visitor that wanted to stop by and say hello? I think it's or missed. Or is there something else at play here? I think it's missed. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. It's missed it. Missed it? Do you remember those amazing SCP remember? from Parabooks I showcased last year? Well, they are back with something very special. They've now made a whole series of such comic books and created five more stories featuring such iconic SCPs. I know a better SCP style thing. Object, Why read it when you watch a movie released, about it? And reluctant dimension. Renegade Hopper. films. Some of these stories follow the original SCP wiki articles. Renegade films. While they made a live action SCP stuff. As and as know, a YouTuber, books could never publish the group. something without it looking absolutely well, yeah. gorgeous on your bookshelf. It's my friend this Nate time, and his they friends. A special case for these comic books with the magnet stuff. A special section for and enamel pins. They have actors and even and a sound chip for the deluxe like edition. That. And it's a fully YouTube once you open the project. Lid. The deluxe edition will also be embellished with red foil and has a guaranteed acrylic stand as a bonus. It looks awesome in my humble opinion. By the way, the illustration for that edition has been created by famous artist Alan Williams, who once made these insane artworks for the Count of Alagada. And as it already became a tradition, Parabooks prepared a whole bunch of high quality stretch goal rewards. Just look at these funny little guys. And these pins. The more people who pledge to the campaign, the more of these you get for free. Follow the link in the description to get this beautiful set and support Parabooks so that they can continue creating SCP projects for us. The Kickstarter campaign ends on June 7th, so get yours before it's too late. Thank you Parabooks for sponsoring the video. Number 6 Before we take a look at this creepy next video that was posted to Reddit, Okay. Let's first explore the context of the story thanks to a nice lengthy write-up provided by the OP, Lazy Brother 1436. The uploader's house seemed cursed. Both their grandparents had died there, December 2002 and February 2013. It's a lot of words. sibling unalived themselves in the same house, oh. October 2021. Their husband suffered... Oh wait, did it continue? Oh no, I think he's going to go through the whole entire thing. I'm sorry for stopping it. Let's in the see. Same house. If not, I'll go back. October 2021. Their husband suffered a traumatic ATK amputation just four minutes down the road from the house. October 2023. Since their husband returned from the hospital in November 2023, there had been experiences of a presence around the property, recently manifesting as glowing eyes in the windows. These eyes appeared red or amber, depending on the day. Hmm. The video in question, situated next to the darkest part of the property, without cameras or mounted lights, had been the site of multiple sightings. Okay. The video was taken of the eyes, but upon returning, they were gone, resulting in a short clip of just the window. The uploader, overwhelmed with full-time employment, part-time studies, and full-time caretaking for their husband, often had laundry piling up. A golden retriever, welcomed into the family in December, oh. seemed sensitive to strange energies, frequently barking at nothing around nighttime. The same clip thing. showed the window devoid of the eyes, which appeared sporadically and mysteriously vanished. Okay. Weird vibes plagued nighttime outings, and the uploader never ventured outside without turning on the lights. Despite a privacy fence around the backyard, unsettling rustling noises were often heard from the other side sounding too large to be squirrels or rodents. The presence of a neighborhood well in the area deterred deer, making the noises even more peculiar. 
There were also reports of knocking sounds and occasional otherworldly growls at night. The uploader, along with their mother and husband, had seen a seven plus foot tall, slender black figure running across What's the LeBron? property. Three nights after the siblings passing, the backyard gates were found wide open and camera footage revealed a shadowy, mist-like black figure That's just the Enderman. through the yard. Their mother had also seen the figure through the kitchen window about a year ago, but only recently spoke of it, believing she might have been imagining things. About four months ago, while outside alone, the uploader heard a terrifying scream in the yard and ran inside. Camera footage from the driveway showed a pair of eyes staring, which vanished upon a second check. Initially suspected to be a okay. demon, warding efforts were made but after discovering a relevant subreddit, the possibility of it being a crawler arose. A the family crawler? felt terrorized and saw fucking called the zombies posting to crawlers and shadow people subreddits, but had limited insights, leaving them in search of answers. The creepy footage shows the uploader's pet dog barking and freaking out over something that it seems to notice outside, okay. which is so much freakier with all the context. I'll go to my local EFC and talk to some shadow people. And then go to an underpass and talk to some crawlers. Hmm. Nah, motherfucking hell to the nah, nah. That is when you get this. All oh, this moving. Bro. What do you guys think is going on here? I personally think it's a fascinating and creepy case. What do you think those creepy eyes belong to? Be sure as Something always my to be sore deserves to be into. Road. Hell no. Just no. That's could be a, well, people who are in the Appalachian Mountains or countryside or whatever you want to call it. Cabin in the woods style. People tend to say, you know, skywalker. Red eyes. Seven feet black shadow figures. Crawlers. Either woke up in some type of Call of Duty zombie lobby. Or just move. A YouTuber named Jared Bacquio, Taxi Vlogs, oh. frequently uploads videos of exactly that. Uzka. Typically on his channel, you can find videos of him recording himself while working his job as a taxi driver in the Philippines. Smart. Most of his videos seem to be actually pretty relaxing for the most part. But there is, however, one video in particular on his channel that is not only not relaxing, but it's downright terrifying. Right. The video in question was published to Jarek's channel on September 4th, 2023 and showcases footage of him driving around the Philippines, simply doing his best at work, like all of us. However, things take a seriously sinister turn when this happens completely out of nowhere. The door opened. The door opened and closed. Hola. Hello. Excuse me. 
Sound like Spanish. Hello? Where do you go? As you can see, Jarek's store <laughs> opens all by itself at one point in the video. Latin. And then proceeds to talk as if there is a person actually sitting in the car with him. Translation. But obviously, that doesn't appear to be. There was also a part where dash cam recordings show that nobody was standing on the side of the road. Meaning that the door should definitely not have opened. And yet somehow, it did. This whole story is really similar to that of the vanishing hitchhiker urban legend. Okay. It is a legend in which people traveling by vehicle meet with or are accompanied by a hitchhiker who subsequently vanishes without explanation, often from a moving vehicle. So if we are to assume that this video is 100% genuine, then it seems as though Jerick has just experienced this urban legend come to life and managed to capture it on camera in the process. One thing's for sure too, Jerick will have quite a mind-blowing story to tell his friends and family. It's just a good thing that he has video proof of it happening, because most people probably wouldn't have believed it otherwise. This, I think I've seen this story before. It's been a while though. At this point, maybe 400 stories between Bizarre and Nuke. The part I'm not liking is I cannot see the backseat. I would have loved it if we had like an alternative angle. Like if he would have had a camera on the other side, like on the passenger side, and that same position maybe higher chef kiss but he did it so i can't say much this next video comes to us from reddit user known as board geek 1996 and shows footage of the uploader standing outside in the middle of the night in honolulu hawaii want to go something there something way high in the sky that he's fascinated by at first, it may be a little difficult to make out whatever it is he's so amazed by, but in just a couple of seconds, it becomes crystal clear what it is, and it's not hard to crystal see clear. why he's so blown away. Take a look. Crystal clear. Look up, 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 what are you talking about? Look up! That's just a fucking Black Hawk. Bro, that looks like a big plane, huh? Tell me not. I mean, that is strange. Yes, yeah, guys, zoomed in a little bit. A series of strange lights can be seen floating around in the sky above Honolulu, much to the complete shock and awe of the folks standing on the ground, just trying to make sense of whatever it is they're looking at. Of course, most people believe that this Reddit user captured Avenger the graphic evidence of the existence of aliens and UFOs which is certainly the best theory that one can make after watching this video. But I'm curious if you guys believe that this is anything else besides a UFO. If you do, At this point, be sure to tell me what your theories are in the comments below. If you don't believe in aliens, you're just stupid. Think about it. This earth supports life. The size of this earth compared to the multiverse. You have different universes. There's multiple universes in our, not solar system, but just space. Space is endless, essentially. So you're telling me in the endless space system, we are the only fucking atom that supports life. We're not even a speck of dust. We're a fucking atom. Atom. We're the only one that has life. We're the only one that's, even if, and, but if there was other life, we're the most scientifically ahead life form if you are religious then go right ahead this part you can skip i don't know the timestamp or whatever but you can skip past this whatever because again i don't want people to like start thinking or second thinking their religious views whatever 
depending on what your faith is, determines the age of said earth. But if you're a person of science, if you're a person of studies, if you're a person of you know looking into things that's beyond faith, but more of a direct thing to go about, faith is proof to people. I'm not gonna steer you away from faith. If you have faith, then whatever you think of is true. It's gonna give you that. I'm an atheist, but at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what people think about or what they believe in. If it makes you happy, if it makes you stronger, if it makes you a better person, go for you. So whatever your faith is, you're correct. I mean, people who are like me who have no faith or have no ideology of that kind of nature of faith or religion, people who study the whole evolution process of how we got here, you know, this earth is 7 billion years old and scientists has explained many times how we basically started forming once the first meteorite hit this earth. When this earth, when the Big Bang happened and this rock was formed, there was nothing. Then a meteorite happened, which contained some type of bacteria or viruses that then started the first signs of life. Then water came to be, and then this came to be, and billions of years later, here we are today. But if you think about that, a meteorite brought us here. If you believe outside of faith, we came here from a meteorite, meaning our original planet blew up. Think about that. That means our original planet blew up. We're Superman. Fucking Krypton blew up and we're here. Keep that in mind. For those who believe in science, for those who believe in the science aspect, an element of our evolutionary status and stuff like that. We started from a meteorite that had to come from somewhere. After all, since our world is massive and full of oddities, it truly could be anything. True. It could be military stuff too. This TikTok user known as Leanne Rito posted a video to his account on May 7th of 2024. He's completely on YouTube, okay? His house in the middle of the night with a camera equipped, seemingly freaked out by something that he's been seeing and he wanted to see if he could capture it and show his followers. At one point in the video, the uploader looks in through the window and sees something absolutely baffling that is the definition of nightmare fuel. Have a look. Oh, I see a person. Fuck your mother. That motherfucker start running towards the window? Bro. Some sort of creepy cloaked figure can be seen standing up alongside the wall. How it got there, or who or what it is, is anybody's guess. Then, about 40 seconds later, the uploader opens the door and sees the exact same figure once again. Then, this happens. My man is Spanish. Son of a bitch. That's locked. Bro, it's gonna pull the drape. At this open the point, door. I think a lot of people would be way too scared to continue on with this yes. investigation. Yes. And understandably so. However, this uploader isn't ready to call it quits just yet. Brother. He then proceeds to open the door once again, except this time. <laughs> Not opening. He left. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. Not looking anymore. Bro. Bro. Somehow, the eerie figure is no longer anywhere to be seen, almost like it disappeared into thin air. To this day, nobody is entirely sure what exactly went on that night at this TikTok user's house, 
but we can only hope that he was able to resume his life in peace after experiencing something so frightening. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The fucking curtain. My man is just going to walk into the bathroom and just look at the side of the wall. Not even attempt to touch the fucking curtain. Yes, I would have been having bricks of shit in my pants. But. But. Come on. Come on. You're not going to open that shit to see if it's there. This video was posted to YouTube by a channel known as Midwest Ghost Hunter. A yeah, I heard of them. wanders around various different abandoned and haunted buildings and tries to document his findings for his subscribers. In this particular video, the uploader is heading out to the bar known as the Old Baraboo Inn. Baraboo. Given the building's lengthy, illustrious and occasionally sad past, it should come as no surprise that it is regarded as one of the most haunted locations in all of America. The old Baraboo Inn on Walnut Street in Baraboo appears beautifully old from the exterior, and that is exactly what it is. The structure does, however, have a gloomy side as well. The old Baraboo Inn is regarded as one of the most haunted places in the country, and it is both renowned and notorious. Okay. It has been highlighted on Travel Channel and listed by Food Network as one of the top 10 Travel haunted Channel places in the adventures. United States over the years. Not to mention the hundreds of customers and dozens of paranormal investigators who have personally witnessed its ethereal potency. Dating back to 1864, the structure that now houses Old Baraboo Inn has served as a brothel, boarding house and honky-tonk saloon. Honky -tonk. It was eventually converted into a bar and restaurant. However, the inn's look was not the only thing altered by the renovations. Employees and customers have since reported a spectrum of odd occurrences. A few of the unsettling things that employees and consumers have reported experiencing include items moving or turning on or off on their own and disembodied voices. Both visitors and investigators have reported seeing apparitions, including that of an old woman, an elderly man and a saloon dancer. On some occasions, these apparitions have even been captured on camera. Regarding the identity of the ghosts, they might be any of the five individuals who have passed away in the inn over the years. Two past owners and three prostitutes. Mm. Additionally, there are several EVPs, electronic voice phenomenon. Furthermore, some claim that the voice of Al Capone, a frequent guest at the inn, may be heard chatting really? with other guests. Really? Now that you know some of the creepy past that relates to the old Baraboo Inn, let's dive right into the, this investigation. Where is this bar Baraboo? For the first little while, oh, things seem to I be going was... relatively normal. Uh, it's clear though that the interior is Aaron. quite off-putting, and just From walking Adventure. a few steps into the inn feels like you're walking in somewhere that we shouldn't even be seeing. Electromagnetic But surely there's no reason for these fields? fears to come true, right? Wrong. At around the 13-minute mark, we watch as things clatter and fall to the floor out of nowhere. Take a look. Hello? Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, something just got thrown. I would love to what do this. What was that? I would like to do it in a group or by what myself. Because I want to see if this shit is real is or that? not. Oh my god, that's like a spoon. A ladle. Hmm. What's a guy's activity? Then, a couple of minutes later, we hear some incredibly bizarre whispering noises that would cause most people to run from the building as fast as they can. But Midwest Ghost Hunter decides to stay. Still hanging around here? Oh God, holy moly, I just heard a freaking whisper behind me. Why would someone actually unalight man. himself by, you Hello? know, hey man. The person just... Could you appear in that mirror right there? 
Oh, you still hanging around? What? I just heard like a woman's voice in here. Bruv. Is anyone in here? I just heard that right in my ear. Oh god. Oh, I got my bottle like off. It literally sounded like a man's voice going, yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I literally felt the breath off it too. Yeah. 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 After proceeding to wander around the the Usher. Mall, the uploader then stumbles upon something absolutely terrifying that defies all explanation. Watch this. If you're one of the mobsters, make another sound. Oh, oh, oh God. Jeez. That is the last spirit I want to encounter right now. Could you do it again a little louder? Oh, holy... Oh my god! That was a black mass! Okay, I wanna get out of here. I wanna get out of here. But it's a freaking dead end over here. I can't get out this way. I wanna go to Some a black kind church. Of black mass can be seen appearing on camera, and a sound can be heard coming from somewhere close by. Then, about 10 minutes later, the uploader finds himself in for yet another series of scares. Watch this. Damn, bro, I would have been gone. Are you moving stuff around in here? <gasps> oh. Orb that was shot at the bed. Oh no, OJ. Oh no, it's OJ. Or Michael Jackson. It's a glove. And look, just for the skeptics, there's nothing attached to this. You make it like a fucking EDM beat. Something else on your dresser here. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. I've had enough. I've had enough. The half fell? Oh, yeah, the half fell. Thankfully, shortly after this, the investigation comes to a close before things can get even more intense. Mm -hmm. But even still, it's clear that the legends of the old Baraboo Inn are true and that the place is most certainly haunted. I I guess you could say the ghost called that cap. The dude said, there's still a ghost here. And the ghost replied with cap. Get it because of <coughs> hat, cap. In are true and that the place is most certainly haunted. I don't know about you guys, but I think most people wouldn't want to go anywhere near the building, let alone walk inside. Would you? No. I need my mommy. This next video comes to us from an Instagram user named Stephen Lee86 who posted a video to their account that would be any parent's worst nightmare. The man recording is outside with his young daughter who is pointing at something in the distance that she's apprehensive over. The man then proceeds to yell out, what are you doing over there? And gets no response. However, as the man recording gets just a little bit closer, it becomes clear that there's not a person hiding in the distance. It's something else. Thunder. Over where? Right there. Hey! What are you doing over there? That's the dad voice. What the hell? What the hell is that? That doesn't look like a person that crouching trying to be stealthy.
A demon? You might be right. Where did he go? Must be the wind. The eerie creature in question appears to have arms longer than its legs even, which is absolute nightmare fuel to say the least. This whole thing seems like the setup to a creepy horror film. The father-daughter duo then proceeds to try to chase the thing down, with the young one calling it a demon. Yep, However, despite need. their best efforts at finding it, they don't manage to spot it again. Although nobody is quite sure what this entity is, it's definitely quite creepy and not something that you would ever want to see. In Walker. Theories range from this being Slenderman to some strange rake-like entity due to its humanoid appearance. I just said Slenderman. I'm curious. One five dollars. What do you guys think this creature is? And what is it that it wants? Be sure to tell me your thoughts in the comments below. That is a skin Slenderman Walker. This was good. This was good. These were actually pretty creepy. I don't like some of them. Uh, I want to do this shit for you guys one day. You guys got to help me out. You got to blow this channel up so I can earn revenue. I won't pay my bills. When my bills are paid, I can start putting money into uh, profits, extra expenses. So I could start funding projects or things I do want to do. I literally do want to do a ghost hunt. I would love to do a ghost hunt. But I need a camera. Yes, I have this camera. Uh, but if I become bitch, then I might drop the camera and run. So if I be bitch and drop the camera and it breaks, I have no more camera to do videos anymore. So if, if I be bitch and drop shit, I need you guys to help me out by helping me have a steady revenue income type of stuff by showing support, comment likes and all the kind of bullshit that YouTubers tend to say, which is the unfortunate truth how this platform fucking works. <sighs> I want to do these projects where I could just go to go to these abandoned places and try to see if these ghost videos are actually legit. I, I'm a skeptic and I don't believe in shit. So it's like I'm very hesitant to see if any of this kind of stuff is real because I don't know like these ghost adventures some people you know, they have either a team behind the scenes doing this doing that you know editing is a thing i know they do all that kind of stuff for me i rather do like raw shit not physically raw shit as in like i pull my pants down but i want to actually do stuff like live i'll disclose the location for the youtube video but i would not want to disclose some of the stuff live because people are weird you see people like, for example, like the Simons or Kais and that, or a oh, little Uzi Vert. When they figure out where people are at, people cause havoc. Don't want to attract those people. Anyways, this was interesting. This was fun. I actually started to like Source Spooks more. So I'll be looking more into his content to see what else there is to basically react to. That being said, until next time, guys, as always, I love your faces and I'm out. Coming from the next Peace. lane. Uh,